A very good morning to you, our esteemed viewer. Now, Chapakazi, as we always say, is a show that promotes your business. We come to your hustle. We want to know what you're doing for a living so that you can also get to encourage somebody else to start a small business from whatever level they're in in life. Today, we're in Rescos Estate talking to some business people. We simply want to know what they are doing so that you can also get to know what you can also do to earn a living. This is Chapakazi Mtaani. I am Beverly Notari, and this is the Chapakazi Mtaani. Welcome to our today's episode. I would like you to introduce yourself and tell us the kind of business that you do. I am a barber shop. But kabla I was a shop, I was a movie shop first day. I was kind of in 2014, but I was a shop in 2016. So I was a movie shop a movie shop. Il work, il work, il work, but I can't come out. I can't leave me. No, no. But Baba shop only can make a little side income. Then I can't can use any shika poa. I can't any. I can't can use any side. Do you say you look at any movie shop? So I can't. You you time you time. I can't make a can use any side. Na movie shop. So you look at any side. I can't touch any side. Can use any side. So we don't do any shika na sevengi. I keep bow. Any no party space. No, no. Mm. So you've told us it is just reason that you started this business of barber shop. So how has the journey been since you decided you want to major your business on barber shop? As in Kosababu, no na barber shop ikona do. Then ikona aseke kibau. Na kila day lazima ni ni pate do. No na. Sana ikona movie shop sabu watu utongo ya watu hadi ofunge chuo. Sana kona yo busy na nani kali ya no na sana kona baba shop ni kitu lazima kila day lazima upate do no na okay so like in a day can you approximate like how many how how many customers do you get okay kwa baba shop okay tuseme around kama twenty that is no. You've told me in a day you can get 20 to 30 customers. So, okay, so what? how do you get your profit in the barber shop? In a per day all? Just as either per day, mm -hmm. if you count your profit per day, or maybe you count it a week. You know this is a business. You don't have maybe to wait for end month for you to approximate. Around 800, 100K, even 1,500. No. Yeah. It depends. When your customer wanna come, mm. so maybe this business has helped you open another business, or maybe it has helped to employ people. As an employer, I say, na baro ina zanzi dek fungo business ingi na, no. But such a challenge is when you na come egi, customers, customers wanna rakam say manze. As in, anam fanya service poor. Just po fanya service ya ko poor, customer na hepa na nda place ingi na. So yon de na fanya mbaga customer na koki bao. Na yon de na fanya gam say. Anavuka saidi ingine. Yani unakua? Unafungua bizi na ingine. Kwa sabu ya wanya makasa mwana kamu. You get to deal with different kind of people. So how do you... Okay, I can term it as customer service. How do you deal with people who have different attitudes? Who maybe come here, they don't even know what type of style they want to get. How do you get to deal with them? Kumukonvisi tuya ningia box. Then unamu approach unamu ambenye. Next time ni takirekebisha. Sabu, the first day we used to do style like what? Any ways she can do style like what? But we are not able. But we are not able to come skiza to. Any is happy. No, no. Now then, we are not able. No, no. So it's all about being humble. Okay. So what are the benefits of your business? Okay, benefits. I said they are good for rent. Now, as in, my mother was a. I think I could not have done it as much as my mother. Ndona ye kaso makikono umengara, uko we ni msafi, and appreciate. Tena anona umse, bizinaki kopo. Nona. Yani nakufanyafanya mambo zingine, kwa hao, nini. Nakusaidia ta, yani kusaidia ta mzazi, kituwe, yani nona. 
kila biashara ina shida zake na kila mtu lazima upitie shida so that it keeps you going so unaweza sema ni shida gani the main challenges that you face in the barber shop business sasa kitu ni mtu ile shida na kwa gapo hivyo azini unakosa msi anaweza ku support unapata kama kansola anakuja anakuja anakuomba kura anakuambia ana promise atakusaidia kitu fulani unaona sasa ikifika nayo de ati akusaidie hatuwezi muona lakini sasa inabidi ujikaze ki kisabuni yani kivi yako that's why sasa unapata ma challenges hapo nini nini then ujikimu kimaisha So as I can see the way you've written or you've advertised your shop you're not only doing shaving of hair I can see you have you do dye you do blow out you also do eyebrows for the ladies so can you tell us more about that Pia nafanya hata ku retouch nini dreadlocks Na hizo hizo kama nini brow kitu kama hiyo eyebrows kuunda Yaani nafanya hiyo shughuli yote ili ndo nipate profit yenye natakikana kwa hiyo day unaona kwa sababu sisi sema tu nikushave peke yake juu kusema nikushave sitatoshikana ile doya hiyo hiyo do kufanya mambo zangu unaona that sasa nikasema acha niongeze kitu kama hizo ndio hata customer case kama ni customer anataka kuitach your dreads ana kam eyebrows nini do nayo na kwa kipato nyoko ataka You you've said you also do dreadlocks. So you can tell us can you please take us through the process of retouching dreadlocks? Okay, retouching dreadlocks tunatumia kama wax, honey, na pia radiant. Unacheki? So, kwa hizo vitu zote hizo ndo nafaa utumie as in ku restart nini dreadlocks na pia ku retouch. How do you retouch dreadlocks? Maybe you mix the wax with the honey. <coughs> okay. Wewe una mix zote? Ili sasa unaona kama dread kama dread nataka kuzitachiwa ama labda nataka ianzishwe. Lazima sasa nianzishe ni mix zote. Then naweza ku roll cuz unaona kama hiyo radiant ni kuzuia ni kufanya nini grow fast. Na honey na kufanya work ni ni drugs zishikane na wax nayo ni kufanya asijikune so how much do you charge to do retouch to, to retouch dreadlocks if let's say i have my own things i've come with my own wax or and and to another customer that depends on your own stuff okay mimi naanzisha na 500 but kuna kama msia anaza bargain ikienda mwisho ni so yene na check So pia wewe ufanya hizi dread za kuanzisha mimi sijai aka dress but nataka sasa kuanzisha kwa aka dread ama you just retouch. Ah mimi nafanya zote, ku retouch na pia kuanzisha. Okay. Yeah. Is the process the same ya ku retouch na kuanzisha? Haiko tofauti. Mm-hmm. Sasa bei ni tofauti. Unaona sasa kama ni kuanzisha mm-hmm. inakoga 15 na ndo kama wax ni amine, yani kila kitu ni yangu. Mm-hmm. But kama umekuja na vitu zako, wewe na charge kuanzisha na dhao. Okay. Lakini ku retouch ni 400 to 500 yeah if we move to the baba side now what are, what types of styles do baba uh, as in styles eh my customer want to style yani style gani sana sana watu hutaka and let's say mtu amekuja labda ako na style yake in mind and anataka umnyoe hivyo are you able to do that kuna ile to fed na kuna ile jita haircut yani level moja nini level moja na kuna ile nini ya back to school yeah. like you as is called yango ni fed yeah. i know you get to interact with different types of customers so how do you get to deal with your customers yani ku convince tu wanaingia box na kubonga tu nao physically unabonga tu nao poa usiwakeleshe yani hata kama ana anakubongesha vibaya unatulia tu usikuwe na matempa yeah. so it's all about humility yeah tena unajua customer always light you know na lazima umhudumie na fanya nataka yeah okay so like maybe you can take us through the process of shaving maybe the fed style 
how do we ask younger is it to the kinyuzi you know i'm not so much used to them as kinyuzi nakonga na numbers so which number do you use maybe to do this style or maybe how are, how is that machine how does it work okay kama ni style tunatumia ga either number 1 number 4 number 3 hizo za ndo vitu za unaweza kama number 4 ni kurevel ni ile bigi but number 1 inakuwa gani ku fade this side yeah na number 3 inakuwa gani sasa ku revel kat yani katikati yeah so what do you think the government is not doing that they should be doing for young people who are trying to find out jobs to start a life or to earn a living maybe ningesema wasaidie mayangaz Nona kama kuna anapata msia kuna kipaji fulani anamokolea juu labo msia ana uwezo sasa kama mimi mi upande wangu naweza sema aje ningeza pata msia naweza support hata kama ni kuni support na do nifanye biashara niongeze bizina yani kwa bigi naweza furahia sana juu naweza pata kama msia kama kuna msia atakuchaguliwa ana ku promise kila kitu ati mwanzi naomba kura yako then I will do what you want. Nona. So unaenda unamchagua. After hapo hivyo anakusahau. Anakuja anakuambia eh hey, unajiandikisha kwa hiyo sijui nini nini. Na anakuambia atakusupport na kitu fulani. So unapata ni kama uliko na mu help yani ya penye. Nona. So unabaki pale huko kuna struggle na mambo zako. Lakini mimi ningesema tu gavaa wasaidie maboys. Nona acha kupigana huko hivi ngeta sijui nini mara maybe wa watu simu akipata kama ni msema ameanza ku ameanza kugrow na kabizi na kiasi anamsupport hata yaona yenyewe ana kuna mtu anamsaidia eh hey, asijidharau aseme eh hey, yani hii Kenya manze unaona mm because you know most people get into crime because they don't have jobs they've not found somebody that can show them the way they can tell them maybe take this and start this business maybe you can tell us how much do you, did you require to start this shop kitu kama okay kinyuzi taka kido mob unaweza nishia hata na 100 hata yani ile tuseme 100 hapo hivyo ndio kwa umebaki kila kitu iko smart eh iko complete yani Yeah. So if we go back to challenges in terms of maybe power kuna times team as you potea so na labo kuna customer maybe he was in a hurry na nataka to get your services what is how would you say power is a challenge to you you ni challenge kubwa sana kwa sababu unapata kazi yetu lazima utumie stima unaona so ile time inapotea tuna safa sana lakini kama mtu aza pigo support hata mani dollars tu anaonekana generator unaona ile ile time stream zinapotea yeye anaendelea anaendelea kuchapa job yake unaona mm. so in terms of space watu wengi sana wanalianga kanjo 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 wanasumbua but maybe it's them that they are not cooperating or how do you wewe unaiona aje okay mimi vile ningesema kanjo wanafaa na to understand sababu unajua kila mtu anakosa do ila kama ujaripa hiyo license unaona hata kama unafaulipe hapo ata kama ujaripa afa ya kuharas unaona anafaa kupeleke taratibu akusikie shida penye ilikuwa then hata akikusikia utakuwa na ile morale ya kutafuta hiyo dole ilipe hiyo nini lakini ile you'll find some people they always have excuses watakuja the same wapene excuse the next time they give another excuse now pia wako job okay Unajua watu ni kuelewana. Amwezi kwa sana sababu ya kitu kayo. Anafaa tu akuelewe wenye huko. Then anafaa akupe hata time. Hata kama tu utafute hodo ulipe. Lakini sasa usipofuata sheria hapo sasa unachukua, unateki nini? Responsible zao. Yeah. So you having you've said you used to do movie shop and now you are doing you are you are now a baba. So how can you compare a movie shop to this one how is the difference between the two businesses compare baba shop because baba shop iko na more customers no no but now na like nini movie shop size unapata kila mtu ali buy hizi ma decoder mtu yani my wife is mejia kila mahali unacheki so unapata job iko down 
kabla upate msena by movie ni shida <coughs> unapata msena watch ya movie kwa decoder nini nini sasa unabaki hapo hivyo tu ukiumia sasa mimi nika prefer hili nini baba shop kozi lazima utapata unaona na mimi ningesema azin kiza pata tu support tu hata kama ni kupungua bizi nyingine ama ni pigo support ni iongeze vitu zenye sina hata naweza pata wasi na ni wachore hata job na ni fungue bizi nyingine unaona yeah so how do you think the youth take employment wanachukulia aje kuandikwa okay wanachukulia kuandikwa kwa sababu unapata mimi kama boss wake sitamuhara kwa job sitamuuliza mbona umechelewa sijui nini nini then ile biz, ile ndo tunapata tuko equal unaona sasa unamweka una free sasa ndo unaona ana prefer kukua employment yeah. as we come to an end what will you tell somebody who is not working okay aji kaze kimoyo to as as nini as give up in life atiana achukua tu kamba atianze kujinyonga sijui nini ati maisha yamemlemea hapana aenda tu utafute hata kama ni job tu ya ya kuchimba shimo manini achape works unaona ndo apate riziki yake unaona na sichoke kutafuta job majobu ziko wafanyikazi ndo wapatikane unaona yeah. so if today you are given an opportunity to do something else what will you do okay Naweza fresh sana. Na naweza naweza support job ya mine. As in yani hata mimi mwenyewe nione yenyewe nainuka. Unaona? Mmenisaidia. Yeah. So Na, you will not love to do any other business. You just love this. You just love your job. Yeah, I love my job cause it's here in Peleka vibaya. Na jesa kila kitu kivumilia. Kwa life lazima ukwe yani mvumilivu, unaona? Kama sio una lose hope nona give up so lazima ukwe patient na uendelee yani unaonaika god kwa hiyo business unaona sababu unajua kuivyo watu nao si wazuri wanakutakia mabaya nini nini unaona maadui ni kibao yeah so lazima unapigana na life unaambia god kila siku unipe mkate yeah mm. thank you so much for your time I'm glad to have you in our show today. Ningependa uji introduce, ngombe watu wewe ni nani na ni kazi gani ambayo unafanya. Ah, uh, Stella Mukami Mwarania na mimi ni mama wa watoto watatu na ninafanya hii kazi yangu ya soko. Eh. So ikawaje ukaamua kufanya hii kazi hii biashara? Okay, nilipenda kwa sababu eh ni source of income smart na juu ndio ninalea watoto wangu ninaweza kuwalea nikiwa hapa kushinda nikiwa nimeandikwa eh. how can you compare employment na mtu mwenyewe kujiandika <laughs> eh, naweza compare ya, ya kujiandika iko sawa kwa sababu in business hakuna siku utakosa kitu kwa mfuko Unaweza tokiwa na emergency na ukiwa kwa mpesa yako umesha save kitu fulani. Lakini sasa huko kwa kuandikwa, ndio nishawahi andikwa. Mimi ni ticha. Nimeifanya kazi ya ticha. Sasa inafika head month, mshahara imechelewa, nyumba umefungiwa. Story hizo mandeni kwa maduka, ndio end month ifike. Ndio nikafikiria sasa ku change. Since uanze hii biashara, unaweza tuambia ulianza wakati upi na kutoka hiyo wakati mpaka saa hizi, how was the journey been? nilianza 2014 ikiwa kitu kidogo sana kama hii yenye iko hapa nje kadogo tu nikaenda nikiongeza nikiongeza imeninunulia pikipiki 
inanisomeshea watoto niko na msichana high school wanasoma tu bila stress na wanakula kenye wanataka kwa hivyo vitu zako unazitoa wapi natoa tu tao kwa soko zingine na zingine shamba kama hizi za soko ya mbele viazi natoa so uko kwa mashamba ya watu kwa hivyo hakuna ambazo we mwenyewe umepanda ah kwetu ni mbali na sina shamba huko eh na nunua nikiangalia una mboga una fruits na pia hapa nikiangalia kuna unatayarisha marage na gideri kwa hivyo kwa hizi vitu zote ni gani ambayo unauza sana hakuna ile ya nyayendi vizuri e, vitu zote naona zikienda sawa juu kama ni melon nikikata naona ikienda ma, gideri na pika twice kama ni nyingine sasa natayarisha tena ya jioni kwa hivyo kila kitu ina move to poa kwa hivyo biashara yako unaweza sema ni changamoto gani ambazo wewe unapitia sasa kwa hii job changamoto yenye iko tuseme ni vile vitu sahi hakuna scarcity scarcity ya vitu sahi alafu na changamoto nyingine gani hiyo tu ndio tunakumbana nayo kwa sahi lakini otherwise iko tu poa eh na uh, in terms of hii nafasi ambayo una uko nayo hapa sasa hizi umejenga something here ulipataje hii space sasa hii space nilienda kwa account huko nikapata barua alafu unaenda tu uko kwa account unapewa barua juu ni public land ukishapewa barua unakaa nayo kazi yako sasa ni kulipiaga muuni kulipia muuni kulipia muuni hiyo 360 eh, monthly monthly eh, 360 eh kila biashara ndo ukuu unakuja hapa kila siku kupika gideri kuuza mboga ni kumaanisha ina faida. Mm. Kwa hiyo ndatueleza kwa hapa wale mtu bembe kununulia pikipiki labda kuna faida zingine ambazo hiyo biashara mm. umepata mingi. Sasa kama saa hii niko kwa safari ya kununua plot nina save kwa sako nyingine certain a certain sako na nimekishwa nime save every day 500 every day 500 na kulingana na hizo savings saa hii naona niko karibu kupata nini mahali pangu. Hapo labda unaweza tuonesha vitu kidogo and maybe the, their prices maybe cabbage unaweza pisa ngapi nyanya kwa sababu unajua watu ni tofauti. Labda kwa kwa nyanya maybe watu wanakuja hapa kwa sababu labda nyanya ni iko kwa bei ya chini kidogo kuliko pale pengine. So labda unza tueleza vitu kadhaa. Sasa kama nyanya unaendaga mimi nanunua na crate kale kaken. Nikinunua na crate nakuja na uza tatu mbao kama ni cabbage naenda na nunua 30 bob ama 25 na uza 40 bob eh mm. so unezambiaje mtu ambaye hana kazi ama hafanyi kazi eh mtu mwenye afanye kazi saa hii ni kujitakia tu kazi ni kazi hakuna kazi yenye aina aina pesa ndio sasa nikiamka hapa ni kuja hapa nifungue asubuhi nikipata hiyo 5 bob niuze ndizi 10 bob niuze maharagwe ya 20 niuze gedheri yangu by jioni niko na elfu yangu tano na nikiuza kidogo sana ni 1300 per day. Na sasa kwa hiyo 1300 tuseme 500 ni ya kusave, 400 ni ya watoto ya kukula. Hiyo nyingine narudisha tu kwa kazi. E, sasa hakuna hakuna vile unaweza sema saa hii hakuna job. Kama hii nilianza tu kwa kitu very minor, very minor. In fact nilianza na 1800 na 800. Ikaenda tu ikigrow hivyo mpaka nikajenga hii. Mm.